Now claimed £1,100 on taxis, including an individual claim for £192. Is that acceptable for an inner London MP? The, the 190 figure is, I think, a dozen taxi bills. What, what you I... put in one, you didn't designate each individual oh, yes, one. No, no, no. When they, they will... They will publish online the scanned receipts, and you'll see it's just a series of receipts for £15. But you just put in one bid for £192? No, 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 no. I add it up. Do you think the taxpayer should be paying over £1,000 for you to run around London in taxis? I don't run around London. What I do is a couple of times a night I take a cab home to Hackney, which costs about £20. Pounds. Pounds. Yeah. A couple of... Why do yeah. we have to pay for that? Why don't you just dip into your own pocket? Because, You're well paid. because I don't do it until it's late at night. And in fact, I don't do it anymore at all now because, because thanks to Ken Livingstone, no, thanks to Ken Livingstone, yeah. we've opened a new East London line and there's a tube station at the end of my road before the nearest tube station before was that, Liverpool Street. we Street. had to pay for your taxi rides. Well, you know, it is late at night and it is only two or three cabs. And, uh, when uh, I go home late at night, I have to pay myself. Who are you giving your second preference to? I haven't made up my mind. Will you tell us when you do? Of course. You'll be the first to know, Andrew. It'd be good to find out something. £300,000. £300,000? Sorry, three... 10,000 police officers? What are you saying? them? <laughs> no, I mean, sorry. How much will they cost? They will cost... They will... It will cost um, about about eighty million pounds. About eighty million yeah. pounds. I don't understand. If you divide eighty million by ten thousand, you get eight thousand. What we're is that what you're going to pay these policemen and women? No, we're talking about um, uh, an, a, a process over four years. I don't understand. What what, what is he or she getting? Eighty million. Uh, divided by 10,000, it was 8,000. So, I'd, uh, what are these police officers going to be paid? We will be paying them the average... Has this been thought through? Of course it's been thought what? through. will be 64.3 million. 250,000 the... police men? And women. Right. On the question of nuclear weapons, you will know as well as I do that if we press the button for a nuclear weapon, we're not just incinerating millions of people overseas. Sure, but my question is, would you, would we, you use it? We have, a, we have a nuclear armament. Would you be prepared to use it? People, I think, are entitled when they vote on June the 8th to know whether a Labour government would actually use our nuclear deterrent if it came to it. A Labour government to do everything in its power to protect the people of this country. And we believe that there are more important and more vital ways to protect the people of this country than actually nuclear weapons. But, Terrorism. So, just to clarify, I'm sorry to pursue on this, would a Labour government use one of our nuclear weapons if it had to? In other words, if we got information that a rogue power was about to unleash one on us, would you be prepared to defend our country by going first? We're always prepared to defend our country. We, be, we believe that jihadism, um, chemical weapons, okay. these, are, these are more pressing dangers so when you say you're always prepared than to a use rogue it. power so just, I'm just with a nuclear get a, weapon. I'm just trying to get a yes or no. Would you be prepared to preemptively use a nuclear weapon if it was to save millions of lives in this country? We don't believe that the most Man, pressing yes no. threats to it's this yes country... No. It's yes or no. It's one of the single most important questions any government in the world can have if they have nuclear weapons, is if you have to use it, would you use it? Why can nobody on the Labour side say yes or no to that simple question? Yes or believe... no? Because we believe there are many more pressing threats and the debate around pressing the button actually detracts from talking about the real pressing threats, chemical warfare, What could jihadism. be more pressing than somebody about to nuke us into extinction? Tell what me could, what is more what? important in a nuclear age than a rogue power, a Kim Jong-un or somebody like him or an ISIS leader 
about to unleash a nuclear weapon on this country. You're in charge. I need to know before I vote for you, are you going to press that button or are you not? We believe that loose talk about pressing the button is actually a threat to world peace. We believe the way that Donald Trump wakes up in the middle of the night and talks about weapons, that's a threat to world peace. We want to keep this country safe and we are dealing with pressing what and immediate concerns. What is the point, Diane, in having a nuclear armament if you're never going to use it? What's the point? What is the point of ignoring the more pressing threats to this country? What could be and more pressing? Seriously, what could be more important? No, no, Piers. A few weeks ago, I was in the House of Commons where when a terrorist burst in and killed a policeman. It's that terrorism and jihadism which is a more pressing threat. So if what, if ISIS, me, what if ISIS, anybody, what if ask, ISIS get a nuclear weapon and are about to use it and you know where they are and you know where they're going to fire it from? What are you going to do? We're dealing with pressing immediate threats, as we saw. You just said terrorism was a 